Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and it has been a busy, busy day indeed in the world of Apple. Today Apple announced the brand new iPhone 11 as well as the new Apple Watch 5th generation and many more products and services. But today we're talking about iOS 13.1, developer beta 3 because Apple also released a ton of software including iOS 13.0, the gold master copy, the official candidate. Apple has announced that 13.0 will be made available worldwide on September the 19th and 13.1 will be made available worldwide on September the 30th. So today we see beta 3 for iOS 13.1 and we can expect Apple to release the software as they already confirmed on the 30th, which gives us about two and a half weeks to work with. It looks like Apple will be having at least five, maybe six betas, including the gold master copy before we see 13.1 officially released worldwide. I know two major versions of iOS 13 back to back. It seems like Apple is really working hard on software. Now the download today was approximately 283 megabytes this is on the iPhone 10R and it's going to differ depending on which device you have and the software that you're coming from this is from beta 2 to beta 3 let's go ahead and take a quick look at the build number here for the latest beta for 13.1 the build number is 17a 5837A. Now, when we see the letter A towards the end of the build number, it means we're getting closer to an official release. So 13.1, as I mentioned, could see maybe four, maybe five, even six betas, uh, including the gold master copy, because of course, we'll see this software be released in the next two weeks and a half here momentarily. Now, in regards to physical changes and new features to the software, the first thing I've noticed right away after installing iOS 13.1 developer beta three is the actual TV icon looks slightly different. Different. Let's take a look here in comparison to a previous beta. As you see here, the TV icon has green letters and on a beta 3 for iOS 13.1, we have white letters here on the icon and the actual icon itself just has a more of a matte texture finish to it, if you will, on the actual icon itself. If we go to settings, we also see this translate over to the TV extension in the settings application. Now I'm sure there's a lot more changes in additional software enhancements to iOS 13.1 developer beta three. I've had this software installed for only about an hour and a half to two. I'll be having a deeper dive on this software in the next 24 to 48 hours. So of course, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos on iOS 13.1 and 13.0 as well. I have a few follow-up videos for you guys here. Now, if you want the brand new iPhone 11 wallpapers, these will be made available in the description down below. They'll be available on my website website. I just wanted to share those minor changes within iOS 13.1 developer beta 3. My follow-up videos I mentioned coming up soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.